In this video, we will try to solve a common problem using Gen AI. We are going to call it semantic mapping using generative AI. So the problem what we are going to solve is going to be this. So we often work on a use case where we have to match strings between two different systems. So you can have a source system and you can have a destination system. And we often have to match strings between these two systems. So in traditional way, we can solve this problem either by maintaining a standard mapping or by writing a certain matching code based on the threshold. So the problem occurs when something unwanted has been introduced in any of the platform strings. So it could be express spaces, it could be dot or maybe misspelling of some words. Though the semantic meaning is same, but our traditional approach often fails to match these strings in that case. Now we will try to solve that particular use case using generative AI. And we will see whether generative AI can help us to solve this problem where actually it can match the strings based on the semantic meaning of the text and not just by matching the strings word by word. And we will also see how it solves the problem of introduction of unwanted characters in any of the platform strings. Our goal would be this. So we are going to have input. Input we are going to pass two things. One is going to be source list where we would have like some strings and in destination system we are going to have few strings. And you can see in, in these two particular platform this strings are not matching string by string but their semantic meaning is same what do i mean by semantic meaning so you can see the first example where it's saying what is your first name and in this nation it's saying may i know your given name so in both cases we are asking for name it means the semantic meaning is same but the phrases are something different and we still want to match these two strings so for that we are going to build an api to build this api we are going to use spring ai under the hood is going to call open ai llm model and then when we pass like these two strings to this particular api then we should be getting an output like this output should be having the source string the destination string and the mass code with this problem in mind let's go over the code and see like how we can solve this using generative ai so first thing first what we need to do is go to start.spring.io and have our project and the jar and everything selected i would go with the default one and here i need to add two dependencies one is going to be spring web and then another is going to be open ai now with this we just just to generate a project and after generating that project we can go ahead and import it in our IntelliJ so first thing what you need to do is go to application.properties and here you have to define your OpenAI API key this OpenAI API key I have put it in my environment variable so here we do have the environment variables so I have put my key over here and we can retrieve it like this other thing what I am doing I am selecting a chat model as GPT-40 so using this particular parameter, we can select our OpenAI model, like which particular model we need to use. If you don't use it, then going to use by default GPT 3.5 Turbo. Also, I'm passing temperature as zero because I do want definite answer in the mapping. Do not want it to be creative every time when I'm running the same code again and again. So with these things set up in the application dot properties, first of all, we have to create a service folder. Under the service folder, I have created AI service. So first of all, I will go over there. I'm going to use a chat model api so that's why the first thing what i did is auto wired this chat model and this chat model is going to come from your spring ai dependency from the chat model section then i have defined a method and as we know like we need to input as a list so i have defined source list as a list of a string and the destination list as a list of a string now how we are going to pass the instruction to this model so that's where actually our prompt engineering is going to come into a picture and here what we're saying you will be provided a source and destination list list containing strings you need to take string one by one from source list until it's empty and try to match it with the string in the destination list please do know that you need to match the string based on the semantic meaning and not just based on the string similarity so that's where specifically we are asking this particular model to match the string based on the semantic meaning and not just based on this string similarity if you are not able to find any match for the given text in the source list please do say no match found in the destination string only so there could be some use cases where actually we are passing a list and maybe for all this string in the source list you won't be having a match in the destination one so in that case what we want okay you give the source string but in the destination string give us no match found and in the destination give us no match found after that as we have seen in our uh, diagram we also want a match score so that's where i'm passing an instruction okay please also mention the matching score based on your confidence on the mapping so here also what we are asking the model okay so now give us a match score based on your confidence on 
on the mapping. So 0 means no match and 100 means perfect match. In this prompt, we have to pass input. So for that, we can pass it using this curly braces. So the source list question is going to be passed like this. And then the destination list questions is going to be passed like this. And after that, we are just asking, okay, your response. So using this prompt only, we are kind of defining all our rules and logic and we are not writing any code over here. That's where we are utilizing the reasoning capability of this LLM. After that, now because we have passed this particular parameter in the prompt, so we have to attach it with these values, what is being passed in the method from outside. So for that, we are going to use something called prompt template. So we will first invoke this prompt template and under this prompt template, we are going to pass this template which we have defined and then we can use prompt template dot add method and this add method we can attach our source list whatever we are passing under this prompt with the source list whatever is going to be passed from outside so similarly we can pass the destination list as well and once we have our prompt template defined then we can create a prompt on top of it so to create a prompt we can use prompt template dot create method it will return a prompt and that prompt we can then directly pass to this chat model so you can see like in this chat model we are utilizing call method and under this call method we are passing this prompt so if we just call this particular chat model or call method only with the prompt then we are going to get a chat response and it is going to have additional information as well in this particular case like we really want to go to the content section of it where we would find the exact matching so to go to content section of it we have to use something like get result then get output and then get content once we reach the get content it's going to return us as a string and this particular string we are putting it as a return type in this method now once you have this service class defined then we can go to the controller where actually we are going to create our endpoint so here you can see i have defined ai controller as a rest controller and the request mapping as ai and then i'm auto adding the ai service which we have defined in the service folder and then i have defined an endpoint as a get mapping now actually we have defined a method and under this method we are passing the our source and destination list what we have covered in our diagram so what is your first name is going to be match with me i know your given name so i have also shuffled a list a bit so that it doesn't have one to one matching and here you can see like we do have extra spaces as well in what is your first name and then we are just going to call our method ai service get cementing math and we are just going to pass this source and destination list under it so with this in mind we'll try to run this code so now the code is up and running so i will go to my postman i am in my postman and we'll try to hit this particular endpoint we'll see like what result we get so let me hit this endpoint and you can see we have got this output so what is your first name may i know your given name you can see we are getting the source destination and the mass score here also you can see like when is your birthday has been correctly mapped to your date of birth please where were you born the place of your birth with the mass score so this has been mapped correctly but the output what we are getting is a text and it's not in this particular format so now actually we have to take this raw output and have to convert it into the json format to get the structured output first of all we have to define our class according to our input and output so for that i will go back to my code and here first of all we will try to create a folder as a dto and under this dto we will define an output class here actually we have defined this particular class as a record and we have defined it as a semantic output dto and we need the output having the source string destination string and the mask code so this is matching with what is expected over here and we have defined the structure of similarly for the request dto we have defined another record in input we need two particular lists source and destination one so we have defined over here as well the first is going to be source list and second is going to be destination list so why we have to define two particular classes over here because to get the output in the structure format we have to use something called an output converter under that output converter we have to pass these classes again i will go back to my ai service class and under ai service class i will try to use something called bean output converter and under this we have to define our output class so that is going to be semantic output dto and then it's going to be bean output converter then new bean output converter now to get a format we have to use this bean output converter and use get format method because we need to get output in a certain format now so we have to pass this format in our prompt and we can pass it as a variable over here now because there is an additional variable in the prompt we have to pass a parameter for the format as well so we are going to map the format with the format variable which we have defined now this is done after that what exactly we need to do we have convert all this output what we are getting and for that we have to use bean output 
output converter dot convert and under that we can pass a string text and we know the output from this is a string so this can could be easily converted into here as soon as you do this you will get an error and we have to then convert the return type now it's going to be semantic output dto now actually it's going to cause problem in ai controller so we will go over there and here also we have to change the return type so i will just click on this and it will change it accordingly and one more thing so here in bean output converter we have to define our class i can just define it like this so let me try to run this code now so let me go to postman and try to hit this endpoint once more you can see like we are getting output in the json now but instead of getting output for all the strings which are passing in source and destination we are only getting output for the first one we have to go back to our code again and why this is happening because the bean output converter is returning just one string if you want to get a list of a string then we have to tell it specifically so for that we are going to add list in this case because we do not want to get just one output we just want to get the list of the structure what we have defined and similarly we have to make some changes over here as well we are going to call something called new parameters type reference and as soon as you defined it you have to pass list semantic output dto under this so now with this now we need to return the list instead of returning just semantic dto so now you can see we do have the list and similarly in the ai controller also we do have to return the list so we do have the list as of now so let me try to rerun this code and go to postman again now let me try to hit this endpoint and now you can see like we are able to get the required Required output what is your first name it has been correct matched with the destination string based on the semantic meaning then you can see like one of the questions over here which genre of music do you prefer your music taste and you can see the confidence score as well so in certain cases the confidence score is 90 95 in certain cases it's giving 85 or 80 even though like this particular model is not confident 100% but still it's able to match the string based on the semantic meaning of it so the last modification what we want to do rather than passing the list in our code we want to pass it like this so we should be having a source list and destination look like, like this so that like it can be easily integrated with any of the external application where actually the calling application can have the source and destination list and it can pass it to this model and then model can match and then return the output like this what we are getting over here so to make this correction we will go to the controller class and here only actually we are hard coding this right so what exactly we need to do first of all we have to convert this git mapping to a post mapping and then here we have to use something called request body and here actually we have to pass our request dto which we have defined over here so we will call it semantic request dto and we will call it request dto and we are going to block this section of code and now with the request request dto we have defined two things one is source list and the destination list we can access the source and destination list with this request dto so with the request dto we are using the source and destination and this is what we have been passing over here let me go to postman convert this point as post we do have ai match and let me try to hit the send button we don't have to hard code all these things in the code now we can pass it directly in the postman and it is able to match the output accordingly that's all for this video thank you for watching